Hello 3D printing peeps. I'm sitting next to my Bamboo P1P. This is the AMS system. I have it off to the side so that I may tip the P1P over. And today we are going to check out Bamboo's new anti-vibration feet for the P1P. Inside this pathetic packaging, you'll find this little pathetic box. Mine's all smushed up with Bamboo's signature sticker on it telling you what it is. Anti-vibration feet. And inside the box, a little bubble bag with the anti-vibration feet. Not to be outdone by the poor instructions associated with many Creality upgrades, Bamboo has decided to ship this upgrade with no instructions. But that's okay. I'm sure their website has us covered. Let's check that out. Instructions. Step one, please remove the original feet at the bottom of the printer first, then replace the anti-vibration feet. Step two, ensure that the feet are securely and correctly installed. By correctly, I assume they mean according to their specific instructions, which clearly stated, please remove the original feet at the bottom of the printer first, then replace the anti-vibration feet. Step three, increase the distance between printers to allow for the extra movement. Oh boy, this sounds fun already. Ah, benefits, don't worry, they have some benefits listed. Benefits, when you place a single P1P on the desktop, the anti-vibration feet can effectively reduce the desktop shaking caused by the printer. When multiple Bamboo Lab P1P, more than one pieces are placed on the same desktop, it is highly recommended to replace the original feet with these anti-vibration feet as they can effectively reduce the impact of machine vibration on nearby machines. Downsides, the printer can oscillate, but it has no effect on printing, trust us. May cause the metallic plate inside the purge chute to shake and produce some noise. The pros are it'll reduce shaking and vibration. The cons are it'll increase shaking and vibration. Sounds awesome. Let's get these installed. There are no instructions at all, so we'll just tip this over and figure it out ourselves. The P1P has four feet, but the kit comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These feet have no indication as to which side is up, so we will assume that both sides are identical. Now we will follow the directions to a T. Please remove the original feet at the bottom of the printer first. Thanks, Bamboo. I assume these just pull right out. Bamboo doesn't tell you how to remove them. So we are just going to grab them with something and pull. The feet on your printer are attached by a low grade adhesive and you can just pinch and pull it off with your bare hands. Or if you prefer, you can use a needle nose like I did for the first one. Now, thanks to the generosity of Bamboo, they have shipped the new feet with no adhesive whatsoever, so we're just gonna stick them in. One. Two. Three and four once all four of these are in i would check all four to make sure they're up all the way into the socket it's really hard to tell and you might just have to take your own word for it <laughs> and that's it you've installed your four anti-vibration feet for p1p go ahead and stand your printer back up be careful not to drag it on the lower nubs and pull them off rather than tilting it up i would consider lifting it up and there you have it, the P1P is standing on the new anti-vibration feet. 
you will immediately notice that the printer rock and rolls on these feet. I really don't know what I think about this. I am not here to give you my opinion on these feet. I'm just here to show you what they are and how to install them. And I'm not saying that as soon as I turn off the camera, I'm going to put my original feet back on. But as soon as I turn off my camera, I'm going to put the original feet back on. You're on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com and removing the original P1P feet to install the anti-vibration feet was today's adventure.